Hello Internet people! In this video, I'll show you how to change domain name server in Namecheap to point your domain to any hosting provider. I will use GoDaddy and HostPapa as examples, but the process is the same on any other hosting provider as well. Please note that we are not transferring the domain, we're just pointing it to external hosting provider. Tape sweat punch! Alright, let's get started. The process with this is a bit backward. We are going to first create a new add-on domain in your hosting cPanel. This is actually just a placeholder and it won't work until you point the name servers from Namecheap to it. Then we will check the name server name on your hosting and only then we will update name servers in Namecheap. Probably that sounded like a lot of gibberish to you. Arnie, confuse them even more. <laughs> from laughs with your four wins. First, we need to find out the name server of your hosting provider. Now, some hosting providers like HostPapa and Bluehost keep them the same for all accounts. So you can just Google HostPapa name servers and you will end up on a page like this, where you have the two name servers that you need for Namecheap. So go ahead and check if your hosting provider is one of these. If it is, then you can skip to about three minutes in this video, where I show you how to add this to Namecheap. For most hosting providers like GoDaddy and SiteGround, the name servers might change depending on your hosting type. In that case, just log into your hosting cPanel. There, under Domains, click on Add on Domains. Then, add a new domain you want to point to your hosting. In my case, it will be StoreMonkeyWP.com. The other fields will be filled in automatically. And next, click on Add on Domain. Now you will see that you have a, a new add-on domain. And in the file manager, there's a folder for the domain and for now it's empty. You're probably thinking like this. Who the hell are you? But don't worry, we are getting there. Next, we need to find the name servers for that newly created add-on domain. So go to my domains. The domain we just added is here at the bottom. If you don't have this, then change the view here on the right. And then check that nothing is filtered out. For example, my status is only for active, but I want to see all of them. So let's change that. Then click on domain you just created and find manage DNS or something similar if you're on another hosting. Now scroll until you see NS or name server. There should be two of them. You will need these in just a minute. Arnie, what do you think about this video so far? Get to the chopper! So next go to Namecheap's website and make sure you're logged in. Then hover over your username and select dashboard. Next click on domain list on the left you will see a list with all your domains. Find your domain and click on Manage. Then scroll down a little bit until you see name servers. By default, you will have a Namecheap basic DNS, but since we are going to point the name servers to another hosting provider, you have to choose Custom DNS. This will reveal two fields, Name Server 1 and Name Server 2. Now go back to your hosting and grab the two name servers we just discovered. I'm going to use the ones from HostPapa and in GoDaddy you would grab these two. Just put the first one in the first field and another one in the other. Oh really? Then click on the green check mark and you're done! So if somebody comes to you like this, you can respond What you been feeding this thing? Name server Now it might take up to 48 hours to take an effect But usually it happens within an hour Oh yeah, don't forget to add some HTML or install a WordPress to your new domain Otherwise you won't see anything To install WordPress in cPanel, check out the video that appears on your screen now Or let me show you how to do the HTML one just go to cPanel and click on File Manager. There, find Public HTML folder. And then just find 
the domain you just created, the folder will be called the same. Then here at top, add a new file and you have to call it index.html. Once you've done that, right click on it and click on edit. Approve this thing and then just type hello world or whatever you want and save the file. If everything went well, you should see a page like this when you go to your domain. But again, it might take up to 48 hours, so just be patient. My name is Robert, and if you're looking to master the digital world while getting entertained, this is the channel for you. So hit that subscribe button and find the bell icon so that you get notified about new videos. If you want to install WordPress on your new domain, check out the first video. And if you want a free SSL certificate, check out the second video. Oh,